Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing well. Please do ignore this background that I've got going on and this which is going to really annoy me throughout this video but I've basically had to come and sit at the back of the room because the sun is shining through that window and as much as I love to be in the sun I do not want to be blinded by it so this is the only other place in the house at the moment um, that is not absolute chaos so yeah. I thought that I would do a homeware haul today with all the bits that I have picked up recently. I know I really love watching these kinds of videos and everything that I um, include I will try and tag down below. Now I have got a couple of bits from local um, shops and stuff but if I can find something similar or the exact same online then I will try and find it. Firstly vases. Now if you'd watched my Amazon video you'll know that I am obsessed with vases and I'm still obsessed with vases and I can't stop buying them. <laughs> so I thought that it'd be best off to start there. I have got this almighty vase here which actually looks like a fish bowl, but I saw this in one of the local shops and I couldn't not pick it up. I mean it was in the sale for £13.49 so I thought that was an absolute bargain for such a beautiful big vase. I mean compared to my head this is massive. Um, so I thought that this would look nice on a table with a beautiful um, bouquet of flowers in. Now most of this stuff is associated with the main bedroom that we're currently working on but I couldn't not pick this up so this is definitely going to collect dust for a little while until we work our way downstairs but I thought that was a great find. The second vase I picked up that was literally from the same shop as the first vase was this one and I absolutely loved the detailing and the colours of this. Now I have seen this flying around on Instagram um, quite a lot so I know that you can definitely get this kind of vase online um, so if I can tag it then I will do because it's absolutely stunning and it's quite sort of like a hefty um, vase as well so really really good quality. The last set of vases that I have got to show you are these poppy head ones. Now I picked up a sort of like a medium size and a small size. I don't know if there is another size to this at all but this is yet again another um, sort of vase that I've seen featured on Instagram quite a lot. Now I did buy this from a local shop but I do know that they sell them online because I've seen them flying around everywhere so if I can find any sort of small businesses that sell these then I will tag them again down below. Um, and the prices of those I can't fully remember. I do apologise for the background noise, it's currently hailstoning outside. Quite hard actually and I can't keep stopping this video, I'm going to be here till midnight otherwise trying to get this done so I'm just going to have to put up with it but the next item that I have got is this plant pot now I know I'm still on the topic of pots but I promise this is the last item before I move on to something else um, I saw this in Home Sense and thought that this would be beautiful to put my lemon tree in now it was £9.99 which I thought was amazing and it comes attached with the dish on the bottom so um, perfect for water drainage um, so yeah I could not leave that there. Moving on to frames, I picked up a couple of different designs from the range. Now they do have quite a good selection of photo frames so I do really recommend going there if you want some um, nice pretty frames that don't cost you an arm and a leg. Um, so yeah I picked up these ones that have kind of got like the wood effect on and then I picked up a couple of different sizes of these ones as well which I thought would look really nice just styled in and around the home and they've both got I don't really know what you call this part but you can either sort of rest it on like a window ledge or a side or it's got the option there to hang it from both sides as well so yeah very versatile the next item that I picked up recently were these coasters now again this is quite a common theme that's going around lately, please do ignore the state of my nails um, but I thought this would look quite nice in the main bed um, on our bedside tables. We do often take a cup of tea up to bed um, of an evening or of a morning so yeah I thought these were really nice. Another item that I picked up for the ensuite 
is this pretty candle. Now you can't not go into home scents and not come out with a candle. So I picked this one up, which I thought was really pretty. Um, I don't know if that's focusing or not, but this is the kind of color that our vanity unit and toilet system's gonna be. So I thought that I would pick this up and I might sort of tie it in somewhere um, in the ensuite. I don't know if it'll look right or not and if it's the same color, but um, it's a pretty candle anyway and it smells delicious. And that candle was 7 99 I thought it was a pretty little touch to have these kind of seashells on, which does give off sort of bathroom vibes. So yeah, ha really happy with that. Another couple of items that I picked up from HomeSense was this throw and also this cushion. Now I thought this was absolutely beautiful. The feel of this is so nice. I don't know if it's like a duck feather pillow or what, I think it might be. Um, but yeah, I just thought this would look nice across the bed. I've got like your standard cushion sizes, um, like the 50 by 50s, but I really wanted like a nice long one to go at the front of the bed. Um, so yeah, thought this was really pretty and it was 29.99 so really good quality and then this throw that i picked up um is absolutely stunning so it's kind of this grey i'd say it's more grey i'm not going to go into what color i think this is because i could be here for ages but this blanket and it's just got this little bit of detailing on now i'm going to say that this is more of a throw than a blanket so i will probably have this sort of going up over the end of the bed um and this was 24.99 which i thought was really really good feels like nice quality um i've just got to keep these tassels away from oscar and rosie because they will just probably rip them to shreds so yeah i thought that was really nice the next items that I picked up for the bed were from H&M. Now, this is a cushion cover that sells out quite a lot on H&M. Um, I do know that the green one seems to be more popular than this kind of dark grey one that I have picked up. But I kind of wanted this colour to tie in with the darker accessories that I've got in the bedroom as opposed to like the green um so yeah I picked up two of those now there isn't a price on these so I will tag that below but I think they were about eight or nine pound I'm going to say um I did have a bit of a discount on them but I managed to grab two of those and then another item that I picked up from H&M online was this pack of three cushion covers as well um they were I think £20 for three of them but they're all slightly different um, patterns and colours and textures. Sorry my showing skills are probably awful but I thought this would look really nice just to mix and match some cushions and these are 50 by 50 ones. Um, I've never actually ordered from H&M home before and I was really impressed with those so yeah I really do rate that. The last couple of items are barbecue related seeing as we are coming into the summer now although with the hailstone it doesn't feel like it. Um, I saw these in home sense. I say I, Sam saw these in home sense and got very excited um, because he does take his barbecuing quite seriously um, but this is a grilled sandwich basket which I thought was brilliant um, to have for the barbecue and that was 11 99 and then this is the one that I'm most excited about. It's this barbecue like grilling basket so we can put like the corn on the cob, the vegetables and that kind of thing in there um, which I thought was really handy to have because often when we've had barbecues we kind of just like wrap the corn on the cobs and stuff in foil which is not really great so I thought that I would pick this up as well um, and that one was 7 99 now it's got two handles to it and I'm not sure why ah there's a bit that squishes the vegetables all together sorry I'm not an expert but yeah thought this was great so I picked that up and the last thing that I did pick up which I haven't got to hand is um some chairs that we'd ordered. I'll see if I can find a picture or insert it here, but we kind of wanted some like reclining chairs for outside 
that weren't too fancy but ones that you could easily fold up and put away um, and the ones that I found looked absolutely brilliant and for the price that we paid for them I thought only one was going to turn up but they did come as a set of two so um, I won't show you in this video but potentially in my next video I will um, show you what it looks like outside and stuff but for now I am not stepping foot outside. One last thing before I wrap up this video does anybody read magazines because my lovely auntie uncle and cousins for my birthday last year bought me a subscription where i receive these magazines every single month and i can honestly say it's probably one of the best birthday presents i've ever received because i get so excited when this comes through the post but um i'm sure there are other um home magazines and stuff that do the same thing but I just thought it was such a nice idea um, if you know somebody who's sort of like into their home and interiors um, to get them such a present like this that they can enjoy every month. So I thank them again for getting this for me because it's something that I've not come across before or ever thought about. So um, yeah, I do enjoy flicking through this every month. Apologies if you think this video has been a bit of a shambles. I know I've had to cut the clip with Oscar and Rosie the hailstone which is now turned into rain and the background is no help at all but I really wanted to film and get this video posted because I love a good homeware haul and I hope that you have enjoyed watching if there's anything else that you would like me to film that's either home related or not home related then please do let me know I'm always up for suggestions I know a lot of my videos just include constant updates with our current house renovation um, but if there's anything else that you may be interested in please do message me or drop it in the comments because I would be interested in filming whatever you find interesting because I don't know what's boring and what's not boring I know that I ramble on quite a lot so I do need to rein that in a little bit but yeah, thank you so much for the support and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.